Good afternoon, friends. John here from What's Spinning. Here tonight to chat about my favorite EPs of the year. Uh, yeah, sorry, voice totally isn't back yet, but music raises on, list week rages on, and so do I. So, this should be a pretty short and sweet video. Uh, as far as EPs go, um little less heavy for me this year. I mean, there were a lot of EPs that let me down. The Cry A Lot EP I wasn't into. The new Karang Bin and Leon Bridges was just kind of average. God help me on those four Weezer EPs. But that being said, a handful of EPs really did stick out to me, and I wanted to rank my top five real quick for y'all. Uh, first off, this one is going to come as a bit of a surprise, I feel like. It will be the uh, latest from Burial, not his Anti-Dawn EP, but I really did enjoy his Streetlands EP quite a bit. Now, this is not the same Burial that we got in the early 2000s. The sort of like post-dubstep thing isn't really, you know, <clears throat> really uh, poignant on this EP. This is a very ambient EP, but as far as an ethereal and entrancing one and a dark one that just is easy to escape into it's absolutely entrancing in my book now i get a lot of writing done in my spare time and this ep has been a major major listen for me this year it is just so dark and dismal it sounds at the end of the day almost like something out of the silent hill soundtrack and for an ep it's pretty long it's you know about half an hour so there's some meat to it as well but I think there's some really interesting ideas here. I mean, it's not the same burial that I grew up with, but for like a sort of very icy, very cold, ambient EP, look no further. Which leads me to my number four EP of the year, uh, a, a complete left turn to one that just makes me happy. Uh, that would be the debut EP, the solo debut of Ruth Radley, ex-Chromatics lead singer and front woman. Um, this is her debut EP, The Other Side, and it is absolutely gorgeous. This is far from her synth pop and very icy beginnings with Chromatics. This is a much more singer-songwriter project at the end of the day. And yes, there are still numerous nods to Dream Pop and Synth Pop. Some tracks here actually sound kind of like where Chromatics left off, which I don't completely hate. But this is much more of a singer-songwriter project. It is absolutely beautiful. Ruth sounds completely confident in herself. And stylistically, I'd be lying if I said that there's anything like mind-blowing on this EP. There really isn't, but for a very enchanting, very whimsical, just really feel good EP, uh, just hearing Ruth come into her own and do it so well, uh, this makes me just nothing but happy. Which leads me to my number three favorite EP of the year. A real shocker for me, and it might be a shocker for you guys as well. It'll be the latest from Purity Ring, the Graves EP that they put out. This, for me, is their most consistent work since Shrines. You can quote me on it. It is just the perfect blend of sort of cute and cuddly, but with a little bit of a dark witch house edge, which is the sound that I initially gravitated towards with the duo. The production is solid. The EP itself is just so consistent. There's not really a lot of down parts here. This, to me, is where I want to hear Purity Ring. It makes me so happy. Like, I personally can't remember the last time I thought that Purity Ring's music was so likable, which leads me to my top two EPs. And I flip-flopped a little bit back and forth when I was making this list on which I wanted to be number one and which I wanted to be number two because both are so fantastic. But at number two, I'm going to go with this new Worm EP, Blue Nothing. Easily the best metal EP I've heard this year. And not only that, one of the best metal projects I've heard all around this year. Here, the Tampa-based band bring out all the classic sounds of death metal and black metal and make one of the most consistent and most most forward-thinking projects of the year. Like I said, there's elements of doom metal and black metal, but also death metal and your black and death metal as well. And it is campy as all hell. You know what you're getting into, but it is impeccably performed. The atmosphere is one of the most intoxicating I've heard on any project this year. The songwriting is great. The ideas are fantastic. I'm so excited to hear more from this band. Not to mention the attention to detail. It is a level of, 
you know, accuracy that I don't see in modern metal a lot. This is very exciting, and if you're a fan of modern metal, do not miss out on this new Worm EP, which leads me to my favorite EP of the year, and I am going to give it to my boys, who I have been just so in sync with since Shadow Over Everything years ago. And that would be the latest from Bombara, Love On My Mind. You can call this a mini album. You can call this an EP. I'm putting it as my number one of the year. Now, this may not be as intense or as wild as some of their last releases, but if you enjoyed their last album, Stray, tracks like Stay Cruel and uh, some of the other softer, more brooding and more gothic tunes on there, this is going to be an album that you want to hear. I mean, I wouldn't say that, you know, they go out of their way of pushing their sound into the future, but as a companion work to what they've been doing lately, uh, it's just, it's near perfect, honest to God. And on top of that, Bombara has a death lock on post-punk and art punk that I don't see anybody else doing right now. It's easily one of the best works in the genre this year. It's easily the best EP I've heard this year. Tracks like Mythic Love and Birds are easily some of the best tunes the band has ever put together. And for that reason... I'm naming it my favorite EP of the year, but let me know down below what some of your favorites of the year were. Tell me of your travels with those Weezer EPs. I want to hear about it. We can cry together and stay tuned tomorrow for the start of my bigger videos. We're dropping best singles, all 50 of them of the year tomorrow. You're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned, and as always, have a great day, friends.